Hello and welcome back to the Reapers. Today we're looking at setting up our controls for the FA18C. Now I've recently changed these controls, hence I've redone this video to keep everyone up to date. So just a couple of things as usual. My HODAS or my control stick I use is a X56 Cytec Rhino. You will probably have a different stick to me, but as I set each button then I will describe where I'm setting it on the HOTAS and you can emulate uh, my control as much as possible if you like it will help when then following the tutorial vids and secondly just the general comment if you've got multiple aeroplanes then when setting up controls always try and make them as uniform as possible so if you've got a button to I don't know lower your flaps or whatever then make sure you use that same command same button for all of your planes it just makes it a lot easier right let's get cracking we'll just do it from the start uh, so we're options, controls, select the F18C, F18C sim. As usual, we're going to start with axis commands here. So let's just blast through this. Now, I've already got my command set, obviously, because I've been flying it. So we'll just essentially take over. So we're going to axis commands. Um, this column here is the action. Uh, there are hundreds of actions for this aircraft, but we'll only be using a few. Uh, for the basic setup here is the category that action is in here is the keyboard bind set to the action here is the left side of the hotas bind to the action when i say left side of the hotas i mean you know the thrust stick side of the hotas here is the right stick side uh, set to the action so this will be the control stick side and that's it so we're going to scroll down to the bottom of axis commands so we're going to start with zoom view this is something you'll need to be able to to be able to fly and operate so i'm going to double click here it's going to go on the left hotas it's going to be, go on a knob on the top turning knob on the top right of the thrust stick i'm going to turn that knob right and then left and it's detected it now i'm going to test it okay and that's that done next we're going to go thrust left and thrust right we have two engines so i'm going to split my thrust stick now so that we can set the left and right stick separately Right, so let's start with the right one. Double mouse click there. This is obviously on the left hotas. Move the stick forward, move it back. OK. Double click the left. Move the left stick forward, move it back. OK. Test the right stick or the right thrust lever. Test the left. Good. We're all good to go. Just going to join this back up. OK, that's that. Now we're going to move up. We've got the rudder, roll and pitch to do. So I can just get that there. The rudder, we're going to move it over to the right side of the hotas, the control stick. You would usually uh, use pedals for these, but I can't use pedals, so I'm going to use the twist stick on my joystick. So I'm going to double click here under the right hotas column. I'm going to rotate the stick or twist it right and left. There we go. OK. And then we can test it. And then we've got to do an axis tune on it. When it comes to the rudder, the roll and the pitch, we need to do an axis tune. Uh, we can see it's nicely centered in the middle there, so I don't need to add any dead zone. But curvature, I will need to add. And a standard 25 I use on all aircraft to keep everything uniform. What this means with this curve is that we get extra accuracy around the small movements of the stick here, less accuracy around the large movements. You'll very rarely, if ever, use the large movements when flying. Okay. Next, we're going to do the roll. Double click here on the right hotas. Move the stick left. Move it right. Click OK. Test and axis tune don't need any dead zone do need some curve okay and pitch here right hotas push the stick forward pull it back okay test and axis tune tiny bit of dead zone needed you can see this red dot here is outside the black box which means it's in neutral position it's putting in a little bit of pitch input so we're going to dead zone that just a little bit so that dot there red dot is in the dead zone so it's not offering any input when it's in the neutral position this happens when a stick gets old and worn out curvature we want to go up to 25 and that's that done that's the axis done so now we're going to start moving on to the more binary commands or the binary buttons that we're going to start using on our hotas so we're going to click here we're going to go to search and the rest of these controls we're going to use to search so the first thing we're going to do is going to we're going to do the left hotas and the buttons associated with that here first of all we're going to type in here dispense uh, this is the dis countermeasure dispenser we've got two switches that we're interested in aft oh sorry forward and aft i've got a two-way switch on the very front of my thrust lever on the left hotas and i use the up position for forward sorry the down position for forwards and the up position for aft there flares and chaff and, and whatnot uh, so that's that the next we're going to want is speed brake speed brake we're going to want extend and retract so i've got a uh, two-way switch on the right hand side of my hotas thrust lever 
So I'm going to use the upper of the two, there's two of them actually, I'll use the upper of the switches. And for extend, I'm going to have the down position for it, and retract to the up position, and that's what I do for all of my speed brakes in all of my aircraft. That's that done, next is flaps. Go in there, type flaps, whoops, flap. Loads of commands here, but let's just keep it simple. All I want is down and up, just to keep everything super simple. So below the speed brake switch is a two-way switch for flaps that I always use for flaps. So I'm going to have the down um, part of that switch as the down and the up part of the switch as the up. And again, we're on the right side of the thrust lever, which is the left hotel. So that's that done. Next, we want nose wheel steering. So let's see if we can... There it is. Autopilot slash nose wheel steering disengage is something you'll want, I find, just to help out so you don't have to click the button on the screen. Um, so we're going to use it on the thrust lever. It's my normal autopilot button on the right hand side of the thrust lever left hotas. So left hotas there. Press it there. Okay, just a single binary button. That's that. And the only other thing we want on our left hotas is our auto start and auto stop. It, uh, a lot of people don't like this, but it just is helpful sometimes. So I'm going to type in start, there is auto start, on the top right of the left HOTAS, HOTAS base is an iron switch with up and down condition, so I'm going to have the up for auto start, and the down for auto stop. Okay, that's the left HOTAS down, now we're going to right, move to the right HOTAS, so we're going to start with wheel brake, type in whoopsie wheel, and it's going to be this chap here, wheel brake toggle on off, works very well. I've got a trigger, if you like, on the very bottom of my right HOTAS control stick that I always use for wheel brake. So right HOTAS here, double click, press it, and there we go. Next, there is a button on the very front of the right control stick, right HOTAS, that I use for uh, nose wheel, uh, what I use it for, nose wheel steering switch. And we've got that here. This doubles up as the undesignate. So you're going to be using this also for if you've selected an auto target and you want to undesignate that target. Really useful command to have on the HOTAS. So right HOTAS here. And there's that button there just behind the wheel brake trigger. Okay, that's that. Next, we're going to have the triggers. So um, type in here trigger, I think it is. So trigger second detent. Some triggers have a first and a second detent. Mine only has a, a one detent. So that's essentially the second detent. So we're going to have gun trigger, second detent, and that's going to be the main trigger, trigger number one, on the right HOTAS control stick. Okay. Next, we're going to have trigger two, which we're going to set to weapons release. Weapon release. There, this drops our bombs and fires our rockets. So we're going to go to right HOTAS here, trigger two, which for me is on the very right-hand side of the top of the control stick, right HOTAS. Okay. So that's that. So what have we got next? We've got our trim. So let's search trim. So we can trim left wing down, pull, push, right wing down. Uh, we've also got rudder trims, but I do not, do not set that for the Hornet. So I've got on the very top of the right HOTAS control stick, at the top right of it, we have a four-way switch I always use for my trim. So we're going to have left wing, the left movement of that switch. Pull is going to be the up movement of that switch. Push, the down movement of that switch. And right, the right movement of that switch. That's trim done. Okay, next we've got what I use as the, if you like the third trigger, I always use it as the lock button. Um, it's on the top of the right control stick, and I'm going to set it as, I'm going to search, whoops, throttle, mm, it's going to be a harder one to find, let's see if we can find it, throttle designated. This one, throttle designated controller, we want up, down, left, and right, which we'll do in a minute, but we also want depress, very useful, has to be set on your HOTAS. So we're going to go to the right HOTAS here and set it as what I would call trigger three, third trigger. Okay, that's that. Right next on the top left or on the left of the top of the control stick, right HOTAS, we have another four way switch. This is what I always use as my sensor select switch. Uh, so we're going to go sensor control, I think it is. There it is. Sensor control, R, forward, left, down. This will change you between various sensor modes, radar modes, ACM modes, and whatnot. Um, when in combat, you do have to have them bound, otherwise, you will really struggle. So let's get on with it. We're on the right HOTAS. So after we're going to have the down position of that four-way switch. Forward, the forward position of that switch. Left, the left position. Right, the right position. That's that done. Next, we've got one more four-way switch on the top. And this is the right of the top right. It, well, actually, it's the bottom right of the top of the control stick right HOTAS. 
so let's get that set up. This is uh, what I now use as my weapon selection. This is why I've changed it all, and it's, well, it's just how I how I prefer it now. So we're going to want to choose be able to choose our Fox Three as our AMRAM. So we're going to have that as the left of that four-way switch. Next, we're going to have gun. We're going to have it on the down of that four-way switch. Next, we're going to have sidewinder, sidewinder, which we're going to have it on the upper and the right of this four-way switch. I used to have sparrow in there as well, but I just use sparrow so infrequently now. I just have sidewinder. So generally, I have sidewinder. I have two of them for sidewinder because I'm more likely to uh, need to get that in a panic. I've got two ways of getting that. Okay, so that's that. That's everything done on the right ho test now. So at this point, I've run out of buttons, basically, and we need to start looking on the keyboard. So let's look at throttle. Uh, control. Come on, what is it? Throttle. Designator controller. Very important. You have to have up, right, left, and down. So I've set them, basically, to the, uh, the actual cursor keys on the keyboard. Down, left, right, and up, so I miss have to take the hand off the hotas to move the radar, or do whatever I need to use the TDC for, but something you have to have, and it just about works like that. Okay, next we're going to have um, right M D I. Well, you don't really have to have this, but I think it's a good thing to have. Um, right M D I P B 11 and 12. So this is the right D D I, it's the top right two push buttons. And it's the ones you use when you've got your attack radar open. You can increase and decrease the scale. You don't want to be clicking down there every time. And it's something I'm going to increase and decrease a lot when I'm flying. So I put them to numpad minus, numpad plus on the keyboard. And it just helps me zoom in and zoom out a lot quicker with the radar. So I suggest doing that. Or if not, if you can fit it on your HOTAS, fit it on your HOTAS. Uh, so that is that. The only other command I want to show is something you should have anyway. But just double check you've got it. It is... Raid, raid slash flur switch uh, should be by default as the I key. Uh, if you need to add that somewhere, add it. But it's um, it's useful because when you're using the harms in SP mode, it allows you to cycle through targets. So you'll want that bound either to your hotas or just check it on the I key. Right. So that is my new setup for the Hornet. Just wanted to keep you updated um, in case you're following my tutorials, whatnot. That is the basic skeleton setup that will let you do just about everything, but obviously you can add stuff if you've got free buttons. There's always stuff you can add. I hope that helps, and see you later.